Video record, record, recording. Hello, <laughs> such a twat. Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Uh, what a week. Um, <sighs> do you know what? Um, yeah. Today was my first week. Back at work. Oh, do you know, it must be about, I don't know, it's about six months. Uh, time's just flown by. Um, and so today was my the end of my first week back at work, working in a vape shop. And I'll be 45 this year. Uh, and I've had quite a few jobs over the years. Not masses, but, you know, a few. And I have never had such a good first week in a job. <laughs> if you ever get the opportunity, I mean, this is the second time this has happened in my life. I mean, first it was with IT, you know, I was, computers were my hobby, my passion. And then now it's vaping. And getting to go and work in a vaping shop is just flipping awesome. Um. I don't know if all vaping shops are like that. I just say the one that I'm working in is uh, without blowing sunshine out the guys' asses and guys and gals' asses. Uh, lovely people to work beside and work for. Um, been really good to me and thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, and believe me, there is nothing more embarrassing in the world than standing behind a counter. Somebody comes into the shop and says, Hi, Todd, how are you doing? Really the first time that it's happened to me and it just happened about a couple of times during the week and I just wanted the earth to swallow me up. So embarrassing. But it's great. It's great at the same time, don't get me wrong. But it's embarrassing for me uh, because I never got into this for that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's cool. Um, anyway, I was rambling there. So... Uh, a working Todd, and I'm recording this at 3 o'clock on a Friday afternoon because uh, we were just up at the, me and the boss, Ross, uh, we were just up at the new shop in Dunfermline, and so that will be opening up next week. Um, I did say that I would keep my working life, vape-wise, and my reviews separately, which I will continue to do. I will continue to do. Um, but I may talk about work in my blog. I can't talk about customers or things like that, but because that would be wrong. Uh, but uh, I just vape life in general, because it's now my working life is part of my vape life. Um, but so I can't wait to get cracking. And uh, if anybody wants to come in and have a blether and buy something in Dunfermline at uh, the Vapor Lounge, uh, come and say hello. Anyway, um, I came home to the the usual barrage of parts and bits. Uh, I have quite a few bits and bobs that have come in during the week. I'm absolutely exhausted at night. I'm not used to being on my feet all day and talking all day. I usually just say, let's go for a walk. Here's a biscuit all day. That's all I do and maybe do a video. So actually talking to people is quite strange. Um, stop sniffing. Go stop sniffing. Um, right, what have we got? Now, I've just finished recording a review last night. I, re I recorded a review for a thing that I can't find. There it is. Um, the Igo W6. So the review for that will be up next week or this weekend, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this, I thought, was going to be shit. It's not shit. It's actually quite good. Quite surprised by that. I was very surprised. I was I actually say it in the review, but I'd said in my forum that I thought it looked shit. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's quite impressive. Um, nice little Billy Bargain there. Um, right. Coffee. Um, vape. 
out of my jolly box. Your feet are wet, so you're not getting up just now. No. Did you see the mess he made of the house with his wet feet? Anyway, um, so there's a little vape in my jolly box. Right, let's show you what else has arrived. I wish I could do a drum roll just now because this, this deserves a drum roll. Seriously, how awesome is that? I mean, wow! That is a uh, Alux Mods dripper, hybrid dripper in copper. All copper. And it is just, try not to swear, uh, it's just bloody awesome. Uh, now the, the top cap is, uh, I've not opened, uh, used it yet, you know, it is stainless steel inside stainless steel sleeve inside so the copper you know the juice isn't making contact with the copper um this is not cheap i'll cover all that in the review um i mean it's made from a solid bar of copper this is 23 23 millimeters in diameter uh but it's just andy is just ah what a righteous dude uh i, I saw the photo and i had to buy it so i bought it and I'm over the bloody moon. Um, so that's the, the, the Lux Copper will be coming up for a review. Uh, what other stuff have I got lying here? I have just arrived the, um, the Cryptex. This actually looks quite smart. Uh, from the guys at I Fancy One. This is... Uh, Guys, that, is it the guys that makes the that made the Nimbus? Is it JPGE? I think it is. Uh, so this is their new uh, drip atomizer, and adjustable airflow works well. Dual configuration. Um, oh, that looks quite smart. Hmm, so looks like it could be quite impressive. <laughs> I like the, the, the if you can see the stainless, you know, it's got polished at the top and uh, brushed at the bottom. Quite smart. So that, that'll be coming up shortly. Uh, what else arrived? Right, what else arrived today? Um, this arrived at this box. I have no idea what's in it. I'm assuming it's some piece of, some, some, I have no idea what that is. Uh, is that just a bit of packaging here? I think it is. Yes, bit of packaging. Uh, this is what the hell is this? This is the furniture Serbia. From oh, it's the uh, Yankee Sixty Nines uh, new Genesis prototype. Aha! Oh, the guy that made Yankee Sixty Nine. Um, G belt, so this is a, it's a prototype of his new Genesis. Uh, oh, that's a tot, a toty wee thing. Um, uh, I wondered what it was. I opened it up and I thought, what the hell is that? Um, so that's, like I say, it's just a prototype, but uh, we'll give that a whirl, and uh, I'll. I don't know if I'll be reviewing it because it's a prototype. I'm not a big fan of reviewing prototypes because it, you know the, you don't uh, you don't really get a it's not a true representation of what you would end up buying. So as a review, it's not really it's, well. Aye. Anyway, aye. I'm talking mints as usual. Shut up. So uh, excellent. Like my Yankee 69 gear. Um, now, what else do we have here? We have the Ignis. Is it the Ignis? Ignis by Futon uh, or UVO. Um, this is a strange beast. A really strange beast. Um, I've taken the coil out, but see if we can't get... 
See, there's only one post there. There's only one screw. That's it. That's the negative. So where does the positive go? Um, it, it's it's a head scratcher. Um, I've been having some serious fun with this. Uh, as in, how does this work? <laughs> it's just driving me mad. Um, this is the first mod by Tad, T-A-D, Tad. And this is the mirror up here. Uh, by Kato. Is it Kato that made the mirror? I can't remember now. Um, I like the mirror. The mirror is pretty smart. Um, it, it is quite uh, quite similar to the, the Aqua in some respects. You know, uh, it's quite similar to the Aqua. Uh, it does get hot like the Aqua. I mean, I'm sub it here. Uh, I think I am, anyway. Maybe I'm not. Maybe the battery's dead. Anyway, the, it's quite a... It's not a bad device at all. It's quite smart. There's, there's ah, some pros and cons to it. Uh, the first by Tad is... It's actually a very well-made mod. Um, I don't know about the, the venting, the slots at the bottom. I'm not sold on that as yet. And also, the it's got a, an airflow control ring up at the top, which gives you a gap, uh, depending on how you adjust it. And that I'm kind of swithering on that as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've also got um, a Vision Spinner 2, which I've been vaping away with most of the week and uh, thoroughly enjoying it. It's nice with the Penelope V3 on it. Yeah, I'm such a dick. So I've, uh, I even, I've hooked this up to the oscilloscope and everything. Great fun. Uh, so we've got that. I guess there's quite a lot of stuff to get through. Shit. Uh, big shout out to Digby's Mum's Custard. Thoroughly enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this. It's a good custard. A very good custard. I, I'd give this a, th a thumbs up. Big th I'd give this a two thumbs up from me uh, as far as custards go. Uh, also, my... Uh, it's in the house. Oh, no, it's here. My killer custard. Uh, this is my second bottle um, that I've gone through from Vitesia. Uh, also very good. I'd give this not a two thumbs. I'd give it a thumb and a half. Um, but it's working its way up to a two thumbs the longer I steep it. Both very good. Uh, but the... Let's see, I really like this, as far as custards go. The Digby's is, is more what I'm used to. It's kind of like, it's, got, it's like Grant's with a slight twist on it. Um, but both very good custards. Uh, so thanks to both you guys for sending the samples on. I really appreciated that. Uh, there's more. There's more. Uh, there is a guy in my forum that goes by the name Bob. Uh, Bob Marley. I'd just like to put a shout out to him and say, you are a righteous dude. Um, he's sent some stuff on for the next charity auction and I just can't thank him enough for the gear he sent on. Um, what a guy. Thanks, Bob. If you see this wherever you are in the world, thank you. Um... Also, uh, wow! I'm kind of this. I've just opened this, and I'm kind of in shock. Um, now, this goes out to John, Jason, and Justin from the All Star Vapor Design Team. These guys have sent me some crazy drip tips on, um, and I've literally can't get into them. <laughs> Fucking 
did, yeah. <laughs> I can't get into them. Um, but basically they are, and I'll just show you a couple here just now. I'm actually going to do a, a review-ish with them. Uh, there's one. There's one in another bag. But check all these funky colours and stuff out. This acrylic here. How cool is that? Uh, basically you can unscrew it, pull out the centre bit and change it over to another funky colour. Um, very, you know, it's the same kind of style or idea as the, you know, Cyan Mods switch drip tips. But in, in all fairness, these are not what I would, these are totally different drip tips. Yeah, they're drip tips, they're drip tips, they're drip tips, but these are like big chunky beasties. I mean, look at that thing. It's quite cool, actually. And I'm looking for something to put it on. Uh, I need a vape, right? We need a vape. Uh, so let's get this on something. Uh, what else have I got to tell you? I must have other stuff to tell you. Okay, that's not going to fit in there. That's a bit of a ball ache. That it. <laughs> Do you see this? Look at that. Now that's a drip tip and a half that, isn't it? And that's just a perfect match on that W6. Um, which has got a massive airflow on it. Uh, right, let's get this off. Let's let's have a vape because I'm under the impression that when people watch my reviews, they don't actually have a vape until I have a vape, or that was something I heard. Um, right. That is really quite smart. I, I quite like that. You know, it's it's unusual. It's a big chunky drip tip instead of the usual affair. Um, how do I open? It? How do I work this? <laughs> Needs more juice. Right, that's uh, that's all the gear that's arrived. So much gear. Um, I've got quite a few reviews that have been recorded, but I've just, and I've been uploaded, but I've just to share them. Uh, what else have I got in the box here? Um, I had the night to review by Vapor Clock, but. Uh, Basically, it's not happening. I've sent the guys an email, but they've not replied to me, so. Uh, basically, I wasn't happy with the quality. I, I mean, it vapes incredibly well, and it works incredibly well. It's kind of, it's got the same kind of principle as the Nucleus uh, by Kato or by Mojo. Is it Mojo? Might be Mojo. Basically, same principle. Um, but uh, there's just a couple of things I'm not happy about with it. So, you know, um, maybe I will review it. I mean, if I'm not replying to it, maybe I should show you guys what I got. Uh, well, actually, sod them. If they're not going to reply to an email with me telling them that there's problems with it, then I'll just show you. Now you can, you're, you are informed. First off, I can't get in the box. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, the the centre pin here, now it's adjustable, but when you as soon as you start adjusting it out a tiny little bit, Look at this. See how off centre that is. That's just crap. Um, and uh, 
The other thing I didn't like, it's got this really cool little delrin piece in it there that keeps things cool uh, when you're vaping, but it does this. <laughs> Sorry, does that. We we'll do it now. It, it just kind of pushes out. You know, the, there's no... I can put a drip tip in it, and as soon as I try and pull the drip tip out, the, the whole thing comes out. Look, there you go. It's just the whole... So it, it just kept falling out in me. And I was going to glue it in, but then I thought, you know, no. Nah. So as much as I like vaping, vaping, building with the night uh, by Vapor Clock, it is got some issues, shall we say. And personally, from what I've seen, I wouldn't recommend it unless they fix those issues. So back in the box it goes. Um, what else? I don't have pets of the week this week because uh, I've just I've, I don't have the time to uh, get that done this week. Um, I, I don't even have my own pet. Do I, TJ? You can't. You see, he's, he's just. You saying hello? Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just not interested. Uh, that's it. Uh, I can't think I've got anything else to talk about. I do. I do. I do actually. I do have other things to talk about. Um, I had some other things that were really, really, um, ah, were really pissing me off. I had things from last weekend that I wanted to have a rant about, but I've had such an excellent week. Do you know what I wanted to rant about? Do you know? Here we go. This isn't a rant. This is this is uh, on reflection from the past week. Um, I think this is something that I have sometimes forgotten about, and it's something that I really need to remember and I think a lot of other people vapors could do with remembering this as well um you know I, I've been vaping away on the spinner um and I've said in the past you know I've got ego galore sitting down here uh ce 4s uh tanks like this um there is nothing wrong with vaping this gear if you're getting into vaping, uh, if you're a vapor and you like vaping with a spinner, a twist, an ego, and uh, and you know a a tank like a mini pro tank, a pro tank, or you know this kind of stuff, there is you don't have to get into this kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with sticking with this. This stuff's great. Uh, it's great fun. Uh, it looks good and, well, I think it looks good. I love it from a tinkering point of view. But at the end of the day, if this keeps you off the cigarettes, that's all that matters. It's all that matters. Do never, never feel pressured into having to go and buy the latest, greatest, shiny thing. Now, I show off a pile of shit. I mean, I show off all the shiny stuff. I do. That's what I do. Um... And I love doing it because it's my hobby. Um, and I'm into that kind of thing. And what I've seen this week in a high street shop has, has been a bit of a batter, slap to the face. And, you know, just making me realise that, you know, some folk could feel pressured, you know, by all these fancy box mods and stuff like that. And, you know, that, they have to get into all that stuff. You don't. Once again, whatever you're vaping, if it works for you, stick with it. And never feel pressured into getting something awesome, fancy bling type thing. I mean, Pro Tank 3 on a fancy box mod and it, it's awesome. And it works.
Trip Hammer's Fruit Pastel from the Gods. Uh, another big shout out to Rebecca, Mrs. Lord. Should I say this? Maybe I shouldn't say this. Don't know if I should or not. Should I? No, I can't say this. Well, I can say it. I will say it. Uh, but we are, we are, uh, got the entire range in the shop. I just... It's going to be selling Mrs. Lords. How awesome is that? Uh, right. That's it. Um, I've got other stuff coming in. I'm not going to open up the upcoming review list um, because I can't be bothered. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I was going to say. Right. Uh, suck my mod. Uh, Matt and Vaping V. Um, upcoming reviewers and whatnot. Lovely couple. Uh, lovely couple. Um, and they do the reviews. Um, I'll probably say this to Matt on Facebook, but I'll say it here as well. And this is, this is just to clarify something. This is in no way is this me having a dig at Matt, uh, you know, from the Suck My Mod uh, YouTube reviewers. I'm not having a go. Um, he reviewed the DNA, uh, the ZNA. Uh, I think it was a 20 or a 30. I think it was a 20 he had. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Zen's gear at the best of times. Um, I enjoyed my Z-Monkey gear that I got, you know, uh, I enjoyed that, but I've uh, never been a fan of the Zen stuff, to be honest. I think it's overrated uh, and bloody expensive for what it is. Um, there's no denying the ZNA it looks pretty damn nice, but and I enjoyed Matt's review. I thought it was an excellent review, and I, I basically agreed with that. I would agree with everything they said in it. Apart from one thing, uh, if you watch the review, it does go on about the batteries uh, and they're not fitting and whatnot. I get where he's coming from. He was pissed because he was putting in an AWIMR 18500 and it wasn't screwing all the way down. But if you go along to the ZNA website and descriptions, it does state that this will only take an AWIMR 18490. So, you know, you, whilst whilst I'm not a fan of Zen and I love Matt's review, I have to sympathise with Zen on that one because when you specify that a mod requires a certain battery, you know, you have to buy that certain battery. Be aware of that. The battery sizes are so different. I mean, I know an 18350 comes in so many different configurations. It's frightening. Uh, protected, unprotected, nipple top, nippleless, you know, um, 18490, 18500. You know, it just goes on and on and on and on. So if a manufacturer says, you have to use this battery, don't get upset when you're using another battery in it and it doesn't fit right. They've told you you need to use a certain battery, so use it. Um, and now Matt will shout at me for saying, you're an asshole, which I am. Uh, but anyway, um, other thing, Wales want to ban vaping in public or whatever the fact they're talking about. Seriously, I, I mean, this is just going, whatever happened to common sense? Remember I used to listen to my dad when I was a kid, him and his mates talking away about politics and common sense and things like that and I used to think my god I hope I never get that old I now I think to myself when I see things like this about the vaping and the laws and what they're wanting to do and I think my god I've turned into my dad uh, which is no bad thing because he's not a bad lad my dad um, but see I've got I've got my I'm being serious stance on look my, my hands like this and um, stop sniffing. So, yeah, vaping regulation laws, what they're trying to pass and all that. I just hope that somewhere, somewhere, somebody with common sense, somewhere, 
is going to be in charge of making new laws and legislation and stuff like that. Please God, let common sense rule. Um, right, that is it. That is it. I can't think of anything else. Can I think of anything else? Bear with me. I'm going to. I'm going to open up my Facebook and. Uh, Fomesto. What are they sending out emails about? I've no idea. Um, check my Facebook. And just looking away here. Uh, oh, uh, I'm still waiting on Jason. Uh, Jason Giorgio. Uh, sending me a couple of things on GP uh, customs. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, big shout out to the Vape Profit guys. Uh, very cool guys. Oh, the Nano, the Nanos. Uh, you seen the photos of that? You seen the the videos from Metal Madness Vapors? Um, I think the, the pre-orders are out and people are getting them. Uh, I, I, I'll i be honest, I, I do, I like the plain tube Nanos and I think the switch looks really funky. Uh, but the, the segmented one, you know, all the segments, I, I'm not a huge fan of that, I must admit. Um, but that, I don't know if I'll be reviewing the Nanos. Um... And you know all about this stuff, uh, the Fakir. Oh, the tugboat. Got the tugboat coming. Um, James at uncommonvapes.com is sending me on the tugboat. Uh, and that's that. You know about everything else there. Uh, anything in the mail that I should know about? Uh, dear friend, are you looking for a better supplier? No, I'm not. Piss off. Um, seriously, I, I'm not a star. I don't sell. I don't have a vaping shop or sell vaping gear. So just, I do work in a vaping shop. But anyway, um, just how is there anything that I need to tell you about here? Oh, oh. There is a guy. Where is it? Oh, it's in the house. Um, a while back, I did a review for a DNA 20 that was made by a guy called uh, Suzuki V6, or Mike. And uh, this was built by hand, the case. It was ivory, brass, mahogany. Made old school on a home lathe and stuff like this. Just a work of art. Uh, I put out the challenge on the steampunk thing. You know, if you think you can make a better steampunk, then go ahead. Mike is uh, making a steampunk mod. And it's coming together and it looks flipping awesome. Um... Uh, so basically, once he's finished it, he's going to send it on to me. I will show it off to the world, and then it will probably go up for a raffle uh, for a charity. Um, so that will be coming along soon, but it's looking tickety-boo. Uh, it really is looking amazing. Um, oh, I've got the, the K2. Um, K2. Now, who's the K2? Yaya. Yaya. Yo Yo Yaya uh, Company, that's coming um, by Yavor. Yeah, well, Yavor sending it on. Um, and that, that, that. Oh, the Vapor Shark DNA 30 is on its way. Um, also, Mark, <laughs> Mark from vaporcaper.co.uk is sending me on the Elkengong, Elk, 
Erdlongonging. I have no idea how you say it. Um, it's an anatomizer made in Austria. Um, so uh, that'll be coming along. He's sending me it along to play with. So, Mark, thank you very much. Uh, so I've got so much gear coming my way, uh, and it's really frightening because I, I'm just I'm up to my eyes, and I'm not up to my eyes. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm now working again. It's I get home about seven o'clock, so doing stuff at night's not really in the equation. So I'll just have to see how it goes going forward. But you know, reviews are going to be two or three a week, really. And then, like I've said this already, there's going to be a massive drop on the amount of communication, Facebook and stuff like that, replying to emails, uh, which I apologise for, but I've only got so much time in the day, I'm afraid. Um, so, finishing this off, 36 minutes, that's shocking. Um, Thank you to all the people that came and saw me this week and introduced themselves. Thank you for making me feel massively uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate that. People saying hello. Uh, and a, a massive shout out to three people that made me feel welcome and at home in my new job. Even though one of them wouldn't let me near the labelling machine. Uh, Sorry, Natalie. Um, I, you know, just nice folk and uh, just luckiest guy on the planet right now. That's it from me. You guys have an excellent weekend and um, we'll speak to you during the week. You have a good one. All the best now. Bye.